Councilman's comments. I'd just like to wish uh, everybody in the room and everybody in the community a very uh, Christmas. I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. It's a wonderful city to be in. And uh, green just gets me off the fire up for Christmas. <laughs> I just, you know, Christmas um, joke for this. I do. <laughs> but I just, I want to digress. And I, I wrote a letter to, um, that um, addressed, again, Amanda Tanoli's um, accusations. And so I want it read into public record. So I'll, I'll read this. And, Journalism at its best. In today's society, journalism is no longer about the truth. Rather, journalism has become a medium in which journalists use exaggeration and embellishment to win over readers and to promote some type of conspiracy theory. Perhaps the journalist is looking for some way to mask their lack of ability or to propel themselves to fame. On December 10, 2016, Amanda Tanoli wrote a story in the Vindicator titled, Water Bill Conflict Continues. And in bold letters, the subtitle reads, Council has met more than six times. Quote, the discussion of a $46 late fee will continue at the city council meetings. Quote, this first paragraph exemplifies the misinformation, distortion, and fabrication the reporter can use to spin a story. On September 21, 2016, Council was presented with a letter from a, camp, a Canfield citizen asking that a late fee on his water <coughs> bill be forgiven. Mr. Marino asked City Council to give him individual feedback before the next Council meeting regarding this issue. On October 5, 2016, parentheses, the next Council meeting, parentheses, there was discussion and there was a clear difference of opinion. Council decided to table the request that, so that some type of policy and procedure language could be drafted for the purpose of exemplifying a water bill late fee or penalty. Council did not meet more than six meetings as documented by Amanda Tanoli's article. Amanda Tanoli also implies that $3,300 was paid the councilmen for their time related to this discussion. The facts are that there has been debates in the past about granting leniency for late payments of water bills. However, council must be careful not to set a precedence that would allow citizens the ability to pay their water bill whenever they want. There must be some control in the form of a written policy. Council members earn $125 per meeting and do not get reimbursed for expenses special meetings, benefits, health or ancillary, and or any other personal time they use to fulfill their duties. The time expended in an actual council meeting on this issue would amount to $20 per member. The point is that if you appropriated or apportioned a dollar amount to this discussion, it would only amount to approximately $100, not $3,300 parentheses based on actual time and council parentheses. In the past, the reporter's integrity in journalism was measured by the amount of truth the story uncovered or disclosed. Amanda Tanoli has chosen defamation, slander, and sensationalism to bring attention to herself and not the legitimacy of the discussion in question. Canfield citizens are encouraged by council to get involved with 10 meetings read past minutes, ask questions, and use other forms of media to validate information that has been disseminated. If councilmen are to be held accountable for their decisions, parentheses, which they should, parentheses, let's make sure that the information on which we judge them is correct. And I sign it, John Morvey, City of Council Councilman. <coughs> that, um, is it in a nutshell? And I just wanted that in the public record. I was, 
Uh, but um, Merry Christmas to all. Mm -hmm. um, blessed holiday. We are very fortunate. And um, yeah. Uh, but I do have a little joke for you. <laughs> Since I, I, I sit on the fire board, right? And so you probably didn't know this, but the three wise men were firemen. They came from a fire. They came from a fire. They came from a fire. We're free sitting there in Tennessee. That's it. Uh, he was I'm okay bring as it was the last order of the official business for the year. We were having strategic planning meetings <coughs> last year, and I thought they were very, very good. I thought we were, we council were stepping up, looking into the future, trying to come up with a plan to meet behind and all of us to come up. Uh, it was John Morphy's idea to do that. I would like to suggest to council and maybe get approval for it start those meetings after our council meetings next year. So when we meet on that first Wednesday, let's let council meeting will be over and we will move from here to there and we will have our strategic planning meeting. And I don't think we should keep the department heads or even Joe. I think council, we should talk amongst ourselves with the public sitting there listening to everything we say. And let's work on a strategic plan for the future. We're telling them, uh, department heads, they got day-to-day -day business out of that. Yeah. We don't have day-to-day -day business as such. I would, I would like for the five of us to pick each other's brains, come up with something that amounts to a plan. And if we need information, that's what really the order that the mm -hmm. president of council can make a difference with the city manager, to use his staff, his team, to give us the information we need to act on at the next meeting we have. How do you feel about that? I've, I've said all along that unless we have a, a plan to know where we're going, we don't know if we got there. So that's why it's important to have a, a one-year plan, a five-year plan, a ten-year plan. And we started working on that, guys, and uh, we made some great inroads to that. And uh, I think we should continue it, whether it's after this meeting, that's pretty, you know, it's pretty late, but um, mornings work for me. Uh, but I do, I do encourage it, though. I do encourage us to continue it. Would you be, would the council be willing to try January, first, the two council meetings in January? Sure. Let's sit up, let's talk, let's see where it takes us. And modify it. Joe, Joe, it's already a meeting. You'll have to give some pub, kind of public notice will we, or something. Mark, that, right? Will we have to advertise yeah, that separately since it's already a meeting here? Yeah, advertise it as a separate council meeting, meeting yeah. and then order that. The public is invited. Mm -hmm. You'd have to advertise it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I really, one of the things I really like about what you said, Mark, is that it, it, um, I think it's a there is a distinction between our um, role. I'm master of the obvious that I am. Joe and his team are worried about today and the year, more current business, and they do. And everybody agrees they do a really good job. Um, so distinguishing that from, you know, go home, have a cup of coffee or whatever you do when you go home, Victor, then we concentrate on what our role is, and that is to look out beyond uh, one year to uh, how far as we can look and to take this city in the direction we think it needs to go. So we'll look at different information that Joe looks at. So I think that's an equal piece. Joe's team in the loop. Well, they, they have to, I think they have to ground us. They're going to have to provide information for us to look into the But I think, I think we should be uh, making a clear distinction between uh, what our roles are. And I think it's consistent with what I understand the charter to say. Right, just, just a little more forward. Yeah. And to be clear on the record, 
We don't get paid about that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, wait, I don't think I'm going to get what I should say. I don't think I'm going to 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 say. But he, he wants to say cannoli. Yeah, what is he saying cannoli? He's wrong on that. <laughs> <laughs> After the Everybody have a Merry Christmas. Yeah. And thank you for serving. And I just, I just have one comment too. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope everybody has a wonderful, wonderful Christmas. And we can. And hopefully the, the snow stays away. Um, but I, I just kind of wanted to briefly too, real quickly. Um, thought we were done. The greatest idea is to do that to move forward. I think, in the, in the John, I think we've talked about it, we've had multiple times talking about it. Um, to do something into the into the first beginning of the year and start that off, I think, is a great way to kick off the, the city for the new year. One, um, two. I think we will at the beginning of the year also have clarification on our water bills and how we're going to do all this stuff, and hopefully that can be behind us as soon as possible. Um, and the, uh, and, and, the, and the issue of with Mrs. Taboli or Tanoli. Uh, Tanoli. Uh, um, it was one of the things, too, and I, I've had discussion with several other people also, and I wasn't really going to bring anything up, and since John brought it up, I just wanted to just clarify myself. You know, every one of us on member of council up here have went out of our way um, to. to of uh, what we've wanted to do for this city, and we've countless hours we've met with people, we've talked with people about the city, we try to move the city forward, we talk about new property, new businesses coming in, all these things. The the being the first people to bring uh, Jed to Mahoney County, um, all that stuff was done unpaid. We we don't get paid for any of those meetings. We we talk with several people, business people. Everywhere we go, as these us, us, us members of people, once we leave here, we're kind of always on that clock, but we don't get paid for it. We get paid for the time that we have here specifically that is mandated by us, by law, to do. Um, so for, yes, for her to put that out there that we get paid for all this kind of stuff and for water bills is kind of ridiculous. Um, I, I, wish, I, I wish she knew all the work that we did do, and I wish she wrote about that stuff instead of the stuff that she's writing about. Anyway, with that... Um, wish again everybody a Merry Christmas and thank you very much. See you guys next year. Thank you, Branch. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you.